Trump's State of the Union, winner's speech, immigration reform. Trump's State of the Union, winner speech, immigration reform. Thank you for tuning in to Laurel with the Black Political Buzz Network. Before I proceed on this video, if you see something on my collar that's makeup, I have on a very, I'm outside and it's cool and I have on a very thick coat and I make up from my face because my coat is very large. It got on my collar, so please don't let that makeup on my collar distract you from the content of this video. So I apologize if you see makeup on my collar. I don't want to distract you from the content of the video. Now let's get to the video. Tuesday night, January 30th, 2018. President Donald J. Trump, our 45th president, delivered a resounding State of the Union speech, his first. I really enjoyed it. Um, there were some highlights. Uh, he did mention some milestones that the Trump administration that the Trump administration had um, succeeded and had completed and achieved. And then he went on to discuss what uh, what his agenda is moving forward. And the topic that I want to mention today or focus on is immigration reform. Now, when people hear the word Trump and the word the words immigration reform, that's like oil and water. Many people they sense that, you know, it's like oil and water. Oil and water don't mix, so they say that the words Trump and and immigration reform don't mix. They immediately people people immediately because of the media all because of the media. The media has been very biased against Mr. Trump. It has. The media has been very biased against Donald J. Trump. I'm not going to take it back. So when people hear the words Trump and immigration reform, they become very reluctant, very negative, and they just think negatively. They become very pessimistic, and they think that he's going to, you know, take round up everybody in the USA who is not a legal citizen and just put them on a boat or a ship or a plane and send them back to where they're to their native land or their native country you know as if we could really realistically do that we can't um and so the words immigration reform mixed with Donald J Trump's administration people just w assume the worst they just Assume the worst. And they're not, and many people are not being logical about the situation. Let's, let's talk about the Syrian refugees. The Syrian refugees, many of them are not even, not, not even from Syria. Many of the Syrian refugees are actually members of ISIL, members of ISIL, the terrorist group. And many of the, many of the Syrian refugees are from Iraq. They're not from Syria. They're from Iraq, and many of them are ISIL members, terrorist members, who used the, uh, you know, who came in under the guise of Syrian refugees to bring harm to our nation. I.e., the Boston Marathon bombing that took place at about three or four years ago under President Obama's administration, and so Trump says that he's not going to continue that Syrian refugee program and he shouldn't because many of those people were not vetted they were led into our country without being vetted they just let them in they said it if they if they looked Middle Eastern if they looked Middle Eastern and said I'm from Syria bam they came into our country no no vetting so that program should be stopped or at least halted at least halted until further notice now let's let's go on now to talk about the people from Mexico, the Mexican uh, immigrants, and the MS-13 gangs. Now, many of those uh, MS-13 gang members, first of all, what is MS-13? MS-13 is one of the most notorious, most dangerous, most deadly, 
most lethal, most dirty, bloodiest, vindictive, hate, hateful gangs that exists in the history of gangs. That's right, and they're not black. <laughs> This time, they're not black. You know, in the 1960s and 70s, everybody wanted to focus on the Black Panthers. You know, in the, in the 1960s and the 1970s, everybody wanted to focus on the Black Panthers who were comprised of black men, young black men. But the MS-13 gang is comprised of Hispanic and Latino gang uh, young men, and they are much more dangerous and evil and angry and deadly than the Black Panthers ever were. I'll say it again. The MS-13 gang members are much more lethal, deadly, cold-blooded, very, very cold-blooded, angry, violent than the Black Panthers ever were. Because the Black Panthers, at least they did some good. Whether you want to admit it or acknowledge it or not, they did, they did do some good in the black communities. The MS-13, they just come over here and kill up everybody even their own Latino people. So President Trump is right to want to shut the door or at least halt the influx of Latinos and Mexican immigrants coming over here unvetted, unvetted. And many of the um, young Latinos who are over here through no fault of their own, through no fault of their own, who came over here with their parents as babies or they were born in the States, a lot of them have grown up and joined the MS-13 gangs. So for President Trump to um, be, um, to, to be um, wise about whom he lets in our borders, for President Trump to be wise about whom he lets in our borders, he's doing the right thing to look after our safety and our national security. Our national security, our safety as a nation comes first, not political correctness, not political correctness. And I'm not speaking out of hate. I don't have hate in my heart towards anybody Latino. I say it again. I don't have any hate in my heart towards anyone that's Latino. I don't have any, any hate in my heart towards anyone that's Middle Eastern or, or, you know, from Syria, Iraq, whatever. I'm just saying that we need to be wise about who we let over here. You know, it, it amazes me how... In the United States of America, in the USA, good old USA, um, the legislators, members of Congress, governors, police, mayors, you know, county commissioners, city council members, they are so quick to want to lock up black men, so quick to want to throw black men in jail, but they don't want to lock up members of ISIL because of political correctness. They don't want to lock up members of MS-13 gangs because of political correctness. You know, we don't want to offend the Hispanic people. We don't want to offend the Middle Eastern people. So we're going to let these criminals just keep running around America, blowing up stuff, terrorizing the American citizens, um, killing American citizens, killing Latino citizens, killing even Latino citizens, MS-13 gang members. We're going to just let them have their way because we don't want to be, you know, politically incorrect. And that's stupid senseless and i'm glad that president trump has the boldness to step up and say i am not discriminating he is not discriminating against latinos he's not discriminating against dreamers i repeat president trump is not discriminating against dreamers latinos or middle eastern people or muslims he's being wise by insisting by insisting that Anyone that comes over our borders be properly vetted for the national security of our nation. So whether you like President Trump or not, and I'm not patting him on the back for everything. I don't, you know, I don't rubber stamp anything that any president says 100 percent. I didn't rubber stamp uh, everything President Obama said. and He was black and I'm black. I don't rubber stamp anything anyone says because I have a mind of my own to do my own research. But I'm not going to, um, but I am, but I am going to give credit where credit is due. And for y'all that say, oh, you're just, um, you're being divisive. You're speaking hate speech. I'm not speaking hate speech. I'm not being divisive. You're being divisive for wanting President Trump to overlook MS-13 gang members while focusing only on young black men and wanting to lock them up. I'll say it again. You're being divisive. 
and discriminatory for wanting President Trump to crack the whip on young black men and put them in prison. But you don't want to lock up these MS-13 gang members. You're being divisive and discriminatory for wanting President Trump to crack the whip on young black men, put them in jail for life. But ignore ISO members coming over here disguised as Syrian refugees blowing up our country, terrorizing our citizens. So no, uh-uh. I, I, uh, I don't agree with everything President Trump says. I repeat, I do not agree, nor do I endorse everything President Trump has said or done, just as I have not endorsed everything uh, that President Obama did and said. But in this instance, I'm going to say he needs to properly vet everyone coming over here especially from countries where there's terrorist behavior, and that includes Mexico. I didn't say I hate Mexican people. I don't hate anyone from Mexico. I don't hate anyone from Syria or Iraq. But if you are a terrorist, you should be not allowed to come over here. If you are an MS, uh, MS-13 gang member, don't come over here. And if you are over here from Mexico, you should be trying to become a legal citizen. If you're over here from Mexico, if you are over here from Mexico, and you've been over here for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, and you have never applied for legal citizenship, then you're over here to just use our country. You're just over here to use our resources, use and drain our country, and send your money back to Mexico. That's not right. If you're over here benefiting from the goodness of our nation, you should have the decency and the appreciation to want to submit an application for legal citizenship. So, that's all I have to say. President Trump's State of the Union win winner speech. Immigration reform. Thank you for tuning in to Laurel with the Black Political Buzz Network. Goodbye.